finisher and cut a wood cross support, approximately two by six inches to fit between the wall studs. Attach four corner brackets with screws to the wood cross support. Prepare and solder inlet copper pipe and fittings so no soldering is made within 6 inches of the valve body to avoid heat damage to internal components. Wrap Teflon pipe thread sealing tape onto the metal threads of the inlet pipes and fittings. Wrap Teflon pipe thread sealing tape onto the metal threads of the nipple with cap for the outlet connection. Screw the outlet nipple with cap into the body outlet then tighten firmly with the wrench. Screw the inlet pipes and fittings onto the valve body and tighten firmly with the wrench. Determine the valve position in the wall and mark the back wall vertically and the studs horizontally. Insert the wood cross support against the back wall between the studs. Check for level and mark the valve center line to align with the vertical lines on the back wall and horizontal lines on the studs. Remove wood cross support to mark the lines on it and insert it against the back wall between the studs. Align vertical and horizontal markings on the cross support with the back wall and the studs. Check for level and secure the wood cross support with corner brackets and screws. Position the valve body with pipe and fittings attached against the wood cross support. Align it with the vertical and horizontal center line markings and attach it to the wood cross support with copper tube strips, clips, and screws. Check the body and the all thread nipples are level and straight, so they will be aligned with and perpendicular to the finished wall. Make sure the spout outlet is capped, turn on the water and check for leaks, and attach the two mud guards to protect the body and all thread.